friends, we're out here at Gulletsville, Tennessee. I'm with my good friend, the spa guy. We have actually found String Bing's home. This is what it looks like today. It's the structure in the back. And fortunately, there's a gate at the entrance. So we're kind of stuck here at the road. It's kind of on a hill too, so it's that green roof on the back. Yes, the green roof on the back. We can see the top of the roof. This is today, June of 2017. This is what it looked like the day after the murder. You can see all the vehicles in this picture. You can see the telephone pole. And just to the right, the side of the home is Grandpa Jones' home. So that's what it looked like. And it looks like it happened in the fall or the winter time. No leaves on the trees. And here, it's June. There's a telephone pole. That appears to be a, that almost looks like a firewood. Yes, yeah, firewood. firewood it, I thought it was stones, but uh -huh. it's firewood there on the fence line. You're uh -huh. exactly right. Yeah, it's too bad we can't get closer. So that's how it is today. We are going to get closer. Now we're going to send Seymour up to take a closer look. So we can see. So we can see. More. See more. <laughs> Seymour is up getting a better look right above String, Bean, String Bean's house. Mm -hmm. And again, I appreciate the spa guy giving me assistance. Okay, guys, here in the front, you'll see Grandpa Jones's house. String Bean had the house right behind uh, Grandpa Jones's house, a smaller home with a green roof. In fact, let's zoom down on it a little bit. There you go. That was actually the location where String Bean and Estelle were murdered by the Brown Cousins. Uh, they lie in wait in waiting for String Bean to finish the Grand Ole Opry. And um, when, when Estelle and String Bean came home, they killed them in cold blood because they heard a rumor that String Bean didn't trust banks and stashed cash all around the house. So they were there to rob them. Just learned recently that uh, one of the Brown cousins uh, was released from prison after 41 years. He was actually out on parole. The other cousin died in 2003 of natural causes in prison. All this happened November 1973. John Brown was released from prison in 2014, again after serving 41 years in prison. I guess that would make him about 65 or 66 years old today. Uh, String Bean was a comedian. He played the banjo. He appeared on Hee Haw and starred on a Grand Ole Opry on a regular basis. One time, well, I guess he took a pair of uh, little Jimmy Dickens pants and sewed them on to his shirt, uh, you know, to, to kind of have that comedian look. I wanted to share these pictures of String Bean's Cadillac. You know, he was pretty frugal, just didn't spend much money. Uh, however, he would get a new Cadillac about every two years. Uh, this one looks like a 1973. I like the, I actually like the pea green color. Uh, check out the interior, that's really, really sharp. They just don't make them like this anymore today. I've always been a Cadillac man. I think I've had about eight throughout the years. However, when I turned 55 uh, or so, I started driving more exotic cars such as uh, Jaguars and, and, and some others. Let's talk a little more about David String Bean Aikman. He was born in Anvil, Kentucky. He actually came from a musical family and his father played the uh, the banjo to look and some local dances and uh, he got his first banjo when he was 12 and they ex I guess his dad exchanged uh, two prize bantam chickens for his first banjo then Aikman began playing at local dances and he gained a reputation as a pretty good musician 
But back then, the income just wasn't enough to live on. To make a living, this is during the uh, Depression era, he ended up joining the Civilian Conservation Corps. Uh, he was building roads and planting trees. Eventually, he entered a talent contest judged by Asa Martin. He won and was invited to join Martin's band. And then during, during an early appearance, Martin forgot Aikman's name and introduced him as String Bean because he was tall and slender. Aikman used the nickname the rest of his career. This may surprise you, Aikman also played semi-professional baseball. As a ball player, he met bluegrass pioneer Bill Monroe, the father of bluegrass, who fielded another semi-pro team. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know Bill Monroe was part of a semi-pro baseball either. And this is from 1943 to 1945. Aikman played banjo for Monroe's band, performing on recordings such as Goodbye Old Pal. Aikman eventually left uh, Bill Monroe's band, and guess who he was replaced by? Earl Scruggs. In 1945, Aikman married Estelle Stanfield, and that same year he was invited to perform on the Grand Ole Opry. The following year, Aikman began working with Grandpa Jones, another old-time banjo player and comedian. Jones and Aikman worked together at the Opry and many years later on Hee Haw, the television series. They also became neighbors in Gulletsville, Tennessee. We were just there. Aikman became a protege of Uncle Dave Macon, one of the biggest Opry stars. Aikman was modest and unassuming. He enjoyed hunting and fishing. He was accustomed to the hard times of the Great Depression. Aikman and his wife Estelle lived frugally in a small cabin at 2308 Baker Road near Ridgetop, Tennessee. The only thing they splurged on uh, were a Cadillac and a color TV. Gossip around Nashville was that Aikman kept large amounts of cash on hand, though he was by no means wealthy by entertainment standards today. On a Saturday night, November 10, 1973, Aikman and his wife returned home after he performed on the Grand Ole Opry. Both were shot uh, dead shortly after their arrival. The killers had waited for hours their corpus were discovered the following morning by their good neighbor, Grandpa Jones. David and Estelle Aikman are buried in Forest Lawn Gardens in Gulletsville, Tennessee. During the remaining production of Hee Haw, the Scarecrow was left as a memorial. Uh, thanks for viewing uh, this video, and please subscribe. It would just mean the world to me, and I'll see you at the top.